talk about how do we tackle adenomyosis when fertility is a desired outcome. In this case, we have two scenarios. One is a focal disease. Think of it as an isolated troublemaker. So they form a focal concentration of the disease and can form adenomyoma. And this can be removed surgically, just like we remove the fibroids from the uterus. Um, and the second scenario is when it is microscopic invaders all through the muscle wall of the uterus, and it is called an infiltrative pattern. In this scenario, it is trickier because we don't have a set-defined disease, so the goal is to debulk the muscle wall of the uterus as much as possible um, with the hope to provide relief in terms of pain and bleeding. In these cases, also some people can achieve pregnancy, about 60% they can achieve pregnancy, but it does have its own implication as scar rapture, when, um, which can happen during pregnancy. Surgery is not an option for everyone. It is trickier because there is not good plane between the disease portion of the uh, disease and the muscle wall of the uterus. So discuss this with your physician when you see them. Thank you.